Many Canadians have decided it's time to get their household spending under control and tighten their belts. The federal government said it would do the same, promising to cut billions of dollars and shrink the bureaucracy. Problem is, Parliament's budget watchdog says talk is not enough, and right now he sees no plan. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malefsky, has been tracking this story. Terry. Well, Peter, five years ago when the Conservatives came in, they said they would fight the growth of government, but it kept on growing. They also say they will cut nearly $7 billion over the next five years by freezing departmental operating budgets. Now the Parliamentary Budget Officer says that plan doesn't add up. It's not squaring. We don't understand the math. Kevin Page is paid to understand math, but he says the government gave him no numbers to show how the promised savings will really happen. Well, it's hard to say it's true because they haven't given us the plan. They haven't given us any information. We say there's a significant amount of risk that they will not achieve those savings based on the human resource plans that we've seen. And he's sending out a warning signal that the government's uh, plan uh, probably doesn't exist. Page says he looked in vain around the huge federal bureaucracy. Of 10 government departments, he found only one that had a plan to make the cuts happen. Two didn't respond at all, the RCMP and the Corrections Service, which is certainly not shrinking. In fact, Corrections is set to add 4,000 employees, thanks to the government's plans for longer prison terms. In this week's interview with Peter Mansbridge, the Prime Minister said the government has grown in the right places. This government has been expanding the size of the military. We said we would re rebuild the armed forces. We said we've, we've expanded, uh, we've hired more police officers. These are roles for government that Conservatives believe very strongly in, and we've increased uh, employment in those areas. Still, the Treasury Board President, Stockwell Day, pledges to slow that growth. He says thousands of workers who retire each year will not be replaced. Today, he said, we have a clear plan to balance the budget and we are on track. But the budget officer says, no, we'll still have a deficit in 2015. There's serious lack of transparency in the current environment with respect to the fiscal plan, and we've seen it as well in terms of some big initiatives like cr crime legislation change. The conservative predictions of uh, budget surplus in just a few years are fairy tales. It doesn't add up. Now, this isn't the first time that Kevin Page has faulted the government's math. The government says that's because he doesn't have complete information. Page says that's because they won't give it to him. Peter. Terry's in Ottawa tonight. So are we or aren't we? Prime Minister Stephen Harper delivered a big speech today on the fifth anniversary of his election to office. And it sure sounded like a campaign speech. And that's fueling the growing speculation that a spring election could be in the works. Hannah Thibodeau is here with the highlights. Hannah? Wendy, while the Prime Minister didn't talk about a possible upcoming election campaign in today's speech, it does feel like one has begun in earnest. The Harpers gathered on stage for the family photo op. The teleprompter was set up, screens played ads and photos of Harper and his team. The Conservative faithful had their signs and t-shirts, and the party even brought in a specialized camera typically used to record sports or concerts. It had all the makings of a campaign event. While today was a day to reflect back on Stephen Harper's five years in power, there was also some good old-fashioned election-style rhetoric. Ours is not a party of entitlement. We're not in Ottawa because we think we're owed or for what we can get. The unofficial campaign looked a little bit different earlier this week, with the Conservatives launching a series of ads attacking the opposition leaders. Jack Layton, so desperate for power, Michael McNatiff is back in Canada, but can we trust him? The Liberals responded with their own, attacking Harper's policies. Is this your Canada or Harper's? The dirty little secret is that attack ads are like cod liver oil. They taste bad, but they work. This media analyst says these ads have a specific purpose. Well, part of this is, I think, is I, I would call it pre-positioning because uh, it's getting ready just in case and uh, it's reminding the base why we're in this fight and what's at stake in it. The NDP are also ramping up for a fight. Tomorrow they'll be showing off their renovated election war room and they've also promised to release ads of their own in the next couple of weeks. Wendy. Thanks, Hannah. Hannah Thibodeau in Ottawa tonight.